Every year, lakes around the globe suffer algae blooms that choke fish and plant life slowly out of existence. The increase in heat, CO2 levels, farm and gardening runoff is the reason for this acceleration of lake life decay, which is also known as eutrophication. Eutrophication is a big word that just means adding a lot of nutrients good for growing, like nitrogen and phosphorus, to a lake or a river, usually by pollution. That causes a lot of plants and cyanobacteria to bloom. Aren't plants good though? Don't they produce dissolved oxygen? Well yes, but when they die, they sink to the bottom of the lake and decay there, and this decay uses up all the oxygen in the lake. With no oxygen to breathe, the fish and other animals die and the lake becomes unhealthy. The toxins the cyanobacteria produce are incredibly potent. They affect liver function, there's neurotoxins that they, they produce. So it's a, a suite of really toxic stuff that can kill wildlife and really impact people's health. Eutrophication describes a chronic, sustained, and prolonged deficit in useful, commonly referred to as dissolved oxygen, or O2, in any body of water. The solution to eutrophication is to systematically restore dissolved oxygen levels. Doing so will naturally counteract anoxia, or death by lack of oxygen, in any volume of water, which is the eventual outcome when eutrophication is not effectively arrested. Current methods of attempting an increase in dissolved oxygen such as fountains, injection of pure oxygen, bubblers, are neither economical nor practical. Present methods of algae control, such as chemical additives, further reduce oxygen availability, making eutrophication matters even worse. Electroaeration has introduced a novel way of restoring available dissolved oxygen, even in large ponds and lakes, from the H2O molecule in the volume itself. Electrically, with biologically safe direct current, we split H2O molecules into their component parts of hydrogen and oxygen. Currents distribute the newly liberated oxygen throughout the volume, restoring its life-giving properties. The electroaeration team descended on Lake Las Vegas and successfully showcased the technology using a series of very carefully arranged plates powered by direct current placed in a selected inlet. First of all, I want to emphasize the safety of this. This is my, this is my hand right over the unit. Obviously, I'm not going to touch the positive and negative, but since we're DC voltage, you can see the bubble generation going on uh, right here. The smaller bubbles are going to be your hydrogen, and your slightly larger bubbles are going to be your, your oxygen. In full operation, these plates would be placed discreetly around the lake and activated each night to deliver the dissolved oxygen the lake needs to return to life as a holistic process. But now we're starting to change the characteristic of this water and we're going to go up to 7.3, 7.4, 7.5 rather, rather rapidly. So we're going to change the dynamics of the water by increasing the oxygen, dissolved oxygen level. Now, the big problem with oxygen is how do you get it in the water? If you were to pump in oxygen, you would not have dissolved oxygen, you would have just oxygen molecules. Here, we're actually breaking apart the H2O molecule and pulling out the oxygen. What we witnessed in our demonstration is the generation of a huge cloud of nanobubbles, of life-giving oxygen and hydrogen, immediately raising the dissolved oxygen level despite being tested during the midday extreme heat. When I first came here, we were all swimming at the bottom, and now they started coming up to, to the top, because that's where the oxygen now is mm -hmm. available. And it's very important for fisheries, because in fisheries, 
the, the DO goes down at the top because of the heat and the So if you put DO in, all the fish now can swim properly. We will be making this technology globally available to any location with a pond, lake, reservoir, or cooling towers. Stay tuned as we deploy this patent pending technology and solve a global environmental issue.